Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Burning Issues. Um, today I want to talk something, talk to you rather, about something that um, happened the last couple of weeks. So, uh, being in the watch business, or the luxury watch business I should say, um, you kind of have an expectation that Christmas will be busy. Um, and we've talked about before, but expectations manage reality equals happiness, and my expectations were here, reality was here, and therefore I had a couple of days where I was like languishing, I was like, what's going on, like questioning what you're doing, why is it not this not happening, why aren't deals coming off, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And I talked about this before, this negative self-talk and this kind of burnout situation, and the friend of mine talking about perspective, I may not have discussed that yet, I'll probably talk about that more at length of the time. And then kind of boxing day through to to now, which is like, you know, early January first week, it's been extremely busy with like really good quality um, opportunities. And um, all of a sudden you like rushed off your feet, you haven't got enough hours in the day type thing. And you're like, wow, like this is bizarre going from literally a week, two weeks ago to now. And it's what I noticed is that you find yourself going, oh, I wish we were just a bit quieter so I can get back to everybody in time. And I don't feel like I'm you know, working around the clock and I'm not getting in back to people enough in a quick enough manner, etc., and giving them a service that I would love to, love to give to them. Um, and then you go, hold on a minute, let's just stop and, and take a breath and just like think about something here, which I think the quote goes something like, a sm smooth water is never made a skilled sailor. And life is uncertain and you have to be comfortable with uncertainty because there's always going to be things that are uncertain, right? Particularly running your own business, granted, you really, particularly when it's a newer business, things are extremely uh, uncertain. And, you know, that's that, that's the way it is until you establish yourself and you kind of get a rough idea of the, the ebb and flows. But even if you work in a job and you've got a good paycheck and you know what, what's happening, etc., there will still, still be a level of uncertainty in your life, whether it is... Um, whether or not you'll get the pay rise and promotion, should you change industry, maybe that industry used to be really good for you, but for some reason it's taking a downturn, or the markets have changed, or you make it more redundant, or you move house, or move country, all these different things that we're trying to achieve, and particularly at this time of year when we're all trying to kind of refocus and put our energy into a way where the next 12 months will be better in whatever way than the previous 12 months. And I think having a an eye and a nod to the uncertainty that there will be a degree of uncertainty that you should respect it for what it is. And I think I've talked about it before, but in fact, I definitely have. It's one of my, three of my favorite things. The Mark Manson, you know, only care about a select number of things. Be very careful about what you care about. Um, the Brene Brown of you can't select to minimize emotion, so you've got to have the downs to experience the ups. You know, that's how human beings are. Like, we're not like this flatline robot. Like, we have ups and we have downs, and it's learning to cope and deal with both sides of that coin, with both have their challenges. Um, and then on top of that, you've got the Buddhist kind of approach of just sitting with the emotion um, and not challenging it and not questioning it and just going, all right, like, it is what it is. And then if you layer on top of that, what a friend of mine was talking about, perspective. Okay, the phone might not be ringing right now, so just take it easy, like, you know, go for walks, just like, you know, occupy yourself in other ways. Maybe, you know, learn some more, like read some more books on business or in my instance, watches or whatever else, or do some kind of admin tidying up work or follow up with old clients, how they're doing and generate business that way or just whatever waters you find yourself in, to go back to the analogy, you know, find a way to make it work and simply just do your best if you do your best no matter what the circumstances you find yourself in that's all you can ask for of yourself and there will be times and there will be people more so probably people like me that are always hard on themselves no matter if things are going great or whatnot i just came out of a hour uh, class at barry's and like you know i woke up a little bit later than i could should have done but yeah i still was in barry's at 7 30 a.m on a sunday and like my brain's like, oh, but I was up half an hour later than I intended to. Um, it's like, so? Like he still managed to get that class done. And like, I think it is just, you know, having that perspective, not being so hard on yourself. And, you know, you're going to have ups and downs in life 
personally, professionally, as we've talked about, and the waters will always change. The current will always change. And the success, and I saw a quote the other day that I posted, I believe, on Instagram, etc. And it was talking about like success is measured by the obstacles that you overcome. And that is is the point here. Like the more obstacles you overcome, the more successful you are and you'll feel. And, you know, actually, I think I'll weave in here because I think it's relevant. Um, one of my best friends in America, his father, and he knows who he is, um, always said to me that there's no problems in life, only opportunities to overcome. And it's absolutely true. You know, you have a difficult period of time. You know, in my business, it might be quiet or a deal's not gone quite the way you expected it to, etc., etc. The way in which you overcome that obstacle, the way in which you rectify the wrong, the way in which you learn from that, that is the opportunity. And if you look and use that lens and perspective on life, then you will feel more fulfilled. You will feel more satisfied and you won't have this kind of constant angst in, in your stomach or, or brain going, oh man, it's just what's going on. Like I can kind of feel this, this, this. It'll be reduced. But if you do feel that way, like that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Just respect the fact you're a human being, you've got emotions and there's nothing wrong with like feeling, you know, uncomfortable with uncertainty. It's just trying to understand that there's light under the tunnel. It won't last forever and take the good times with the bad. I think that's the message for today. Thanks guys.